Journey as a game really stuck out uh, when it came out. I actually pre-ordered the game, and I didn't know what to expect going into it. I didn't know, you know, what the goal was, you know, how, how it played. I knew nothing about the game. And all that really kind of pulled me in at first was the art direction. And once I actually finished the game, I literally almost choked up. Not because they had some, you know, aspiring words at the end. They didn't even say a word in the actual game, uh, I believe, until the end when it was telling you who you were playing with. It was just that, that gaping atmosphere that was there, you know? It, it told a story. The world itself told a story. And what your character or characters, if you were playing with other people, uh, you know, what these, your characters, they also told a story. And all without saying a word. All without having, you know, expensive, you know, voice actors to voice your games. All without these huge, huge set pieces, you know, it didn't have to do much in order to get people invested into it. And I know I was personally invested into it. As you can see, I, I have a shirt of the actual, you know, game itself. So, you know, it, it was a game that taught me a lot about game design in general and what games could be and how they could be, you know, told and laid out. And it was very much using the show don't tell rule. And I believe it benefited this game in could benefit a lot of other games in the future and it's basically a gaming milestone in my opinion and I hope a lot of game developers learn from Journey itself. So thank you Journey. Thank you for giving me one of the greatest and most memorable gaming experiences in recent memory. And if you guys want to join in on kind of telling your story about how Journey kind of stuck in your mind and your experiences please visit journey.playstation.com and if you want to show your video, go on Twitter, you know, YouTube, anywhere and type in hashtag ourjourney.